Yo, New York Yankees fans and Major League Baseball fans, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, all like stars. Yankees fans specifically, I got good and bad news for you. The bad news is that the Padres went kamikaze mode and offered Manny Machado the money that he was looking for. But the Chicago White Sox offered him a better contract, making more money per year Eight years, $250 million, and the Padres offered Manny Machado $300 million for 10 years, and the White Sox offer had incentives, etc., and could have reached more than $300 million. So before I begin with the good news, White Sox fans, even though you guys went back and forth with Yankees fans, Padres fans, Phillies fans, everybody and their mother, you guys put up a good fight. Look, you guys can't be that upset. Your franchise, your front office... Put their hands into the ring. They were willing to spend. They were willing to give back to the fan base. So don't be upset. But it does show that Chicago has a problem when you cannot attract a big free agent like Manny Machado, specifically the South Side. So I'm not trying to make it political, but Chicago has a problem and they need to fix it. So, again, we could all stop with this. The owners are colluding against the players. They're not willing to pay the players. We all saw it. Every sports fan or every team defending the players' union. Oh, my God. Rob Manford. What a bastard. All these owners. Cheap as hell. Yeah, but then Manny Machado signs a contract. The biggest, might I add, in American sports history. So Tony Clark specifically has a lot of explaining to do. The Players Union, they have a lot of explaining to do. Are these players being too greedy? It looks like that to me. Matter of fact, these players are so lucky that they're getting contracts of these sizes. When we all see it, they barely have a fingerprint on their social media presence. Maybe they have an Instagram, they post uh, pictures once in a while, but they're not engaging with the fans. So I don't want to hear about um, owners' collusion. Obviously, the players' union is playing the fans. They're taking the fans as a joke. All these fans had their backs. Harper's about to get $300 plus million as well. Tony Clark and the players' union can't go around and say, Oh my God, these players aren't getting the contracts that they want. Oh my God, wait for the new CBA. This is ridiculous. The market for all these players suck. What more do you want, Tony? Manny Machado just got the biggest contract in American sports history. So speaking upon that, Yankees fans, White Sox fans, Phillies fans, you can't be that upset that Manny Machado signed with the Padres. They went full kamikaze. They were the sleeper team. They came out of nowhere. Hey, they couldn't trade for Andujar. So, hey, why not sign Manny Machado? That also means that everybody sank with the ship. So you can't be that upset. But in the perfect world, I would be calling up the Colorado Rockies again and giving them a ring for Nolan Arenado. If somehow the Rockies and Arenado can't work on an extension. But then again, the Yankees decided to go with a $32 million per season DH in Stanton. So they preferred, uh, the other day, Hal Steinberger came out and said, oh, Harper and Machado, they weren't our priorities because we didn't have any priorities concerning the infield and outfield. He said that every day he goes into the new season wanting to fix their priorities. So I'm guessing a $32 million per season DH was his priority last season. So Yankees fans, no Harper, no Machado, because the player union is full of shit. Tony Clark is full of shit. And, um... Yeah, these players are making the money that they're looking for, but us fans ate it up, and look, we helped them get the contracts that they were looking for. So great, great job, Tony Clark and the Players Union, for using MLB fans, these same fans that pay to watch these teams, so that stupid owner's collusion theory is out the window. So, Yankees fans, I like John Carlos Stanton, but... He, we're stuck with him, uh, DH for $32 million. We decided to go with him instead of Harper or Machado. But the funny thing is, he has the opportunity to win a World Series championship before Manny Machado or Bryce Harper, if he even have the opportunity to win one. So Yankees fans, 
hey, you can't be that upset that Manny Machado went to the Padres. If he went to the White Sox or the Phillies, then you could be a little bit upset because Yankees fans did go back and forth with fans of those teams. But like I said, the Padres threw a monkey wrench in there and really changed the game, the dynamic of the whole Manny Machado and even Bryce Harper situation. Obviously, I do believe that the Yankees have a great team, but they really did not improve their third base situation. Sure, Andujar is an offensive machine, but if he allows over 40 runs per season due to his defense, it really doesn't matter. And in my honest opinion, I think the Yankees are not done. I still think they have a few moves to make. And like always, you guys would be the first ones to know. So like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.